One other topic that's very important for the competitors of industries and the companies is talent. We believe that diverse teams are more effective or better. What advice would you give to companies to be able to uh, increase their diversity and, and attract more diverse talent? Well, let me hit this head on because the advice I'd give them is the same advice we need to take in our own firm. The reality is we are not as diverse as I would like us to be. We're very diverse in terms of thought and I think many companies need to have a look at themselves in terms of the backgrounds of the people they employ. We shouldn't be going to the same colleges and universities. You should be looking for a diverse set of sources of talent so that people bring different perspectives. But diversity also means men and women. And if I look at that, I think we all have work to do to ensure that we have an employment environment where the unconscious bias that has in the past got in the way of women progressing at the same rate as men gets tackled systematically. I think that means in very practical terms we have to hire women in equal numbers to men, we have to ensure they have the same employment opportunities, we have to recognise that if they're making family choices we have to support them and find ways to bring them back into the workforce after maternity, and we have to encourage and recognise and reward people who may just take a different view of how to solve tough problems. We have to do that, I think every company has to do that. I passionately believe that we all want a fairer working environment and that we all benefit when we have a society and employers who treat equally everybody who is in their employ. That's true of us, it's true of every Brazilian company, it's true of every Latin American company. And I think the good news is that there is now a consensus that we have to get serious and make these steps happen. I think all of us now need to look at the unconscious biases, tackle these, and make sure that the playing field in which we all play when it comes to gender is equal. Let me also add there are many other forms of diversity, racial diversity. Uh, sexual preference, all of those are just as important. I think all of us want to create environments which are truly fair. We at McKinsey have an obligation to create an unrivaled environment for exceptional people. That's our mission. We can only say that's been achieved when we look each other in the eye and can say everyone has a fair chance to succeed. Everyone starts with the same set of opportunities and everyone along the way is given the same encouragement. I want our firm to do that, I want all our clients to do that, I believe that society as a whole wants to get there. I'm confident we can because I believe that we're now all working very hard to make that reality. If uh, a student is looking and, and listening to us, right, I mean, can you explain to him or to her uh, what a uh, consultant does and uh, why should this person come to work for McKinsey, even if they are a designer, an engineer, a doctor or any other profession? Well, I would say to her that we solve the world's toughest problems. We actually have a phrase, we aim to bring distinctive, lasting, and substantial improvements in performance to our clients. And each of those words is why I think you should join. We aim to bring distinctive improvements. So we don't just do the ordinary, we work on the toughest problems. And we think hard about ways in which to solve those problems with innovation, with creativity. So we need people who really like solving tough problems and who bring creativity and industry to that task. We aim to make change that's lasting. We're not in it just for a quick set of opportunities. We're certainly not in it for a quick profit. That's not who we are. We're here to help our clients improve for the long term. So we want people who are excited about making a difference, not just tomorrow, but for many years to come. And I think that's a very special set of people. We want to work on substantial improvement. We want to make big differences to society, to our clients, to government, to all the many different types of people that we serve. So we want people that are excited by trying to stretch, really thinking of new ways to do things and aiming for big improvement, not just modest change. That's the kind of work we do. The other thing that I think consultants do is we work in a fun environment. I'd like to think, and I genuinely believe that people who come to work at McKinsey & Company enjoy what they do. And that's again because our mission is simple. We aim to attract, develop, excite and retain exceptional people. So we want people that want to be with fun folk who do th great things along the lines I just discussed. We want people who want to be developed, who will benefit from the learning programs that we offer. And we invest a lot of time, effort and leadership in those programs to make sure we all learn every day in every way. We want people who are excited. This is an environment where I think if you're not readily stimulated by the kind of problems we solve, you won't enjoy it. But if you are, you're gonna have fun with a great group of people. It's a young environment. It's a place where people come to start their careers and I hope build careers. And lastly, we want you to stay. 
we don't want people just to come for a year, we want you to stay. We want you to think this is the kind of change that you want to bring to our clients and do for the long haul. So I think, and I'm biased, but I do believe this is just a great environment for all those reasons. And I really hope that the people watching this feel the excitement I have today, 28 years after starting, that I know you have, Nicola.